Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be going over five things that Apple changed for the CarPlay system for iOS 16. And as a tester, we'll be using this 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat. And number one on our list is the adding stops feature in the Apple Maps. All we need to do to access this is go into the map section here, and if we set a destination, let's say if we want to go to Citadel Hill, we can click this, and then when we click go, we can click this arrow right here, and it will have an add stop option. So when we click that, you can actually set a different destination. So maybe we want to use a gas station first, so it'll search for a gas station. So we can click this, and now it added a stop. Now this feature has been around for quite a while on other uh, different navigation apps, uh, but Apple finally brought it to the Apple Maps, uh, which is certainly nice to see. And next on our list is the automatic message sending that Apple introduced for iOS 16. All we need to do to access that is go into the settings section here, and we scroll down to Siri and suggestions. You will see the automatic, uh, automatically send messages. Uh, so this is basically, it will eliminate some of the steps uh, that Apple had previously uh, when you go to reply to a message. Uh, so basically what you'll do now is if you receive a message, an Apple will read that message to you, and then you reply, and then it will automatically send it without reading it back to you. And you're basically trusting the system into uh, saying what you actually want to say, uh, but the system is there if you want it. And next on our list is the upgraded podcast app. Uh, so it has sort of a new UI, a new interface that Apple uh, introduced. Uh, it's based off of the music app here. Um, so if you open up the podcast, you'll see we have a listen now section. We also have a browse and then a library. Um, so listen now is sort of your recently played. You also have your browse where it will sort of uh, give you recommendations. And then you also have the library section here where it will tell you uh, your recently added stuff. And it's nice that Apple did this because the music app is, is pretty easy to use and uh, the podcast app certainly need this as well. And number four on our list is a sort of a small one, uh, but it's it's something to point out here. Uh, we do have new wallpapers. Um, so Apple introduced three new wallpapers, uh, one being this one that you see right here. Um, but to access the wallpapers, we go into the settings, and then we have a wallpaper. Uh, so first on the list is this one here. Again, this is what I, what I was showing earlier. Uh, so that has, that is a new one there. And we also have sort of this blue one here. And then we also have this sort of gray, black, monotone uh, one as well. And these ones on here, these were previous uh, wallpapers that were introduced uh, for previous iOS updates, but three new wallpapers for iOS 16. And last thing I want to talk about here is sort of the future of Apple CarPlay. Um, so Apple did go over sort of the a potential future uh, that the CarPlay can have, and they kind of talked about sort of how uh, CarPlay can work and integrate with automotive systems. Um, so we're here in this F-150 Lariat, uh, which has a digital gauge cluster. It also has this huge 12-inch display here. Uh, that Ford introduced. Um, so Apple kind of introduced this way that they could integrate their CarPlay systems into the, let's say, this digital gauge cluster, and also maybe your main display, and uh, control all the systems in your vehicle um, from your speedometer. So this will be a speedometer. Uh, you'll have your Apple CarPlay in the gauge cluster. You also have uh, CarPlay controls for all of your audio, as well as your settings for your vehicle as well. And Apple had a lot of great uh, renderings that they made uh, specifically for uh, this showcase that I'll throw in throughout the video. Um, but that'll kind of give you an idea of the, the future of what CarPlay can bring to the automobile industry. Because right now, uh, CarPlay is mainly just an entertainment uh, sort of system, right? You've got your phone, you, your music, obviously. Um, you have some utilities and services that it can provide. Um, you have your maps, obviously. Um, but I'd love to see uh, CarPlay bring more functionality to your vehicle. But that'll pretty much do it for this video. I did just want to give you some updates that Apple made uh, for the iOS 16 update. If you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.